Hello guys, in the previous video, we talked about the structure of uh, nucleotide and different types of nucleotide. Now let's see how these nucleotides uh, arranged, uh, arranged themselves to form a uh, polymer of DNA. So in this video, uh, I will show nucleotide in this way. Uh, the center is ribose sugar. P will indicate the phosphate group that is present on the uh, carbon number 5 of the ribose sugar and B is basically a nitrogenous base that is attached with the carbon number 1 of the ribose sugar. So here you can see uh, one uh, nucleotide uh, and the base is here uh, in our example is guanine. So this nucleotide is basically guanosine monophosphate. Now what will happen the phosphate group of the next nucleotide below nucleotide it will make bond with the carbon number 3 of the above nucleotide. Similarly phosphate group of uh, next nucleotide will make bond with the carbon number 3 of above nucleotide and in this way it will keep on moving to form one strand of DNA. Okay. Now let's talk about how complementary strand is being formed. For the complementary strand you can see nucleotide is present but in opposite direction. The oxygen is downward and carbon number 3 and carbon number 2 are the ups, upside. The point is basically you, uh, you can see for example this is nucleotide of uh, uh, one strand and this is the nucleus, uh, side, uh, nucleotide of opposite strand, complementary strand. Now here you can see both the bases are very far away from each other. It's not easy for them to make bond with each other. So what now what will happen like for example uh, this my thumb is base and this middle finger is for example oxygen. Now this base want to make bond with this nitrogenous base. Now what will happen this nitrogen will turn over like this. Now this nucleotide will turn over like this, this, this. Now you can see both the bases are very close to each other. Now it's very easier for them to make bond with each other. And now oxygen has moved downward. Uh, exactly in this way, the oxygen is uh, downward and uh, nitrogenous bases are uh, uh, close to each other. And in this way again, the phosphate group of the above nucleotide will make bond with the carbon number 3 of below nucleotide. The phosphate group of above nucleotide will make bond with the carbon number 3. The phosphate group will make bond with the carbon number 3. And in this way, it will keep on moving to make a complementary strand of DNA. Now, focus on uh, one more thing. Now, look at the positions of uh, uh, carbon. Here you can see the carbon number 5 is at the top. Carbon number 5 is at the top and the carbon number 3 is at the uh, uh, below side. So this strand is basically 5 prime to 3 prime. Okay. Now let's talk about the complementary strand. In complementary strand you can see the carbon number 5 is, the, uh, is uh, at very low at the uh, below side. So this will be 5 prime and carbon number 3 is at the top. So this will be 3 prime. So obviously if one strand is 5 prime to 3 prime, other strand will be a 3 prime to uh, 5 prime. Okay. Now the bond that is being formed in between the phosphate group and the carbon number 3, phosphate group and the carbon number 3, this is called as a phosphodiester bond. This bond is called as phosphodiester bond and this bond is very strong okay we will talk about it uh, later and the bond uh, between the nitrogenous bases like here you can see the uh, nitrogenous bases is uh, guanine nitrogenous base is guanine guanine will only make bond with the cytosine and adenine will only make bond with the thymine the bond between adenine and thymine will always be a double hydrogen bond while the bond between uh, cytosine and guanine will always be triple hydrogen bond and these bonds are weaker as compared to phosphodiester bond but if we do a comparison between uh, bond between uh, adenine and thymine and cytosine and guanine we will come to know that gc bond because they are three bonds are stronger than the at bond why i am telling this because this concept is very important for the replication of dna we will talk about in the our uh, replication lecture so gc a bond is much stronger than the AT bond because they are a 3 in number but phosphodiester bond is stronger than the, uh, these uh, hydrogen bond. So in this way both these strands uh, uh, of DNA are being formed by the arrangement of nucleotides. Thank you so much.